is your first Alert 5 weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back, everyone. The big story tonight, the strong and gusty winds. We talked about it this morning with Alex O'Brien. You can see the strong winds coming to fruition. Wind gust right now in many areas up over 20 miles per hour, even seeing a gust around 30 out towards Alamosa. With the wind and the low relative humidity, we're under a red flag warning until 8 p.m. tonight for much of the viewing area. The good news here is that we shave off about 10 degrees, at least 10 degrees to our daytime highs on Saturday. Also tracking the potential for a mountain or, sh or sh shower or storm Saturday night. And then as we dry out on Sunday, we should see a beautiful end to the upcoming weekend. So here's the very latest on the red flag warning. You can see it for the I-25 corridor, as well as parts of the southern Arkansas River Valley. Windy and dry with dry fuels and some areas relative humidity values are down near 10% bone dry for us for this time of the year. Area of low pressure driving the wind. It's parked over parts of Utah and Wyoming tonight. And this is expected to go up and over this big blue H, this ridge of high pressure. It's got some rain and snow associated with it to our west. For us, though, only wind in our forecast. And most of that wind comes in tonight. We'll see wind gust around 8 p.m., still up near 30 for Woodland Park, but beginning to weaken around the springs in Pueblo. This is the latest model run, and these numbers have been brought down quite a bit from what I showed you at 5 o'clock. Numbers today still well up there, 85 for the springs. The average in the low 70s were 50 this morning, 92 in Pueblo, the average here right around 80 degrees. And we are still very warm tonight in the springs, 81 degrees outside, mostly sunny skies. The wind speeds still out of the southwest at about 21 humidity, down near 10 percent. Temperature wise across the rest of the region, we see low 90s in La Junta, 88 for Lamar, 88 Kit Carson uh, down to the mid 60s out there towards West Cliff and 80 degrees in Canyon City. You can really pick up on where the dry line is this evening. Dew point temperatures in the teens and 20s west of the plains. But look at the southern plains, 40s, even some 50s to upper 50s down towards Springfield. Live radar fairly quiet. Thought we might have enough instability and moisture to pop off a few showers and storms. Most of it has stayed pretty far east of us, out towards Kansas and Nebraska. And as the low again goes up and over the ridge of high pressure, uh, most of the storms is going to stay east of us through tonight. Cooler conditions expected this weekend as the low ex exits to the east. So on the hour by hour, a warm evening expected across the Centennial State. Temperatures tomorrow morning down to the 40s and 50s, so nice and comfortable for the early morning hours on Saturday. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon cooler than what we saw today with mostly 70s and 80s for the Springs and Pueblo. Here's what we see tonight, 40, uh, 51 for Trinidad and Walsenburg, 51 in Pueblo, 49 in Colorado Springs. Temperatures tomorrow in the upper 60s for Woodland Park, upper 60s as well in Monument. Colorado Springs will be in the mid-70s on Saturday, low 70s on Sunday. Warming to the 80s, though, another warm-up on the way by early next week. Pueblo Chili Festival going on all weekend long. May not sweat it out because of the temperatures, but probably those chilies will do the number. Upper 70s to low 80s. Canyon City, temperatures here in the upper 70s, making way for a beautiful weekend. 80s do return, though, as early as next Monday. And Woodland Park, check it out. Lows down to the 30s by Saturday night and Sunday night. Could see some patchy frost up in our mountain areas as we make our way into the weekend. Andy.